Love a good lounge set. What's it called again? You clip it and then do like a little pudding. everybody welcome to another vlog my name is Layton if you're new here I'm so glad you're here I'm excited to be vlogging today what is today today's Thursday and I actually was not originally planning on vlogging today I was gonna do like a morning routine like ideal morning vlog which I'm still gonna be doing we had such a late practice last night Literally didn't get home till like 12.30. I didn't really have time to like prepare to film that and I wasn't gonna get up as earlier as I originally had hoped. Anyway, so we're just gonna vlog today, but I'm excited, it's gonna be a good day. I had a great morning so far. My last video y'all saw, I talked about what my goals are. I had my prayer time that I was talking about and now I'm about to go on a little walk. It's sunny and I'm gonna get my body moving and get some sunshine in before I get working. Date. I met Reagan after my walk at um, this little park and we got There's some kebabs. Stick them. Hey, Slay. I'm back from my little walk. It said it was supposed to be sunny with no clouds. I go out there and it's cloudy and so windy and it feels freezing. I almost fell over in the wind. So I went on a very short little walk and then I met Reagan downtown at the little food truck park and we got some lunch at the food trucks. Um, so that was fun. Still got some fresh air and got moving a little bit. So now I have got to post my video. I was supposed to post it yesterday. And then some things came up and time got away from me and I did not get around to it. So, got to get that up right now. If you're watching this and you haven't seen that video, what was that? Um, go watch it. It's my goals for 2023 and staying motivated throughout the year. So be sure to watch that so that we can, you know, reach our goals together. Also, if you guys are not putting on a nice, cozy background ambiance on YouTube, when you're working on stuff, what are you doing? I can't not have one on in the background. When I'm working on stuff, I either have on one of those or like a home renovation show on Netflix. I either have that in the background or a YouTube ambiance. This is what I have on right now. Nice little kitty cat at a coffee shop with some jazz. Anyway, it's just little things like that that can really spice up your moments, you know? All right, my video is currently exporting. So while I'm waiting on that to export, I'm gonna change clothes because I smell like smoke from the food trucks. Most of them were like barbecue and stuff. So they had huge, you know, grill things out there that were making all this smoke. And now I just can't stop smelling smoke. So we're gonna change. And I thought perfect time to try these two Amazon sets that I ordered recently. I haven't tried them on yet, but they're super cute. I found them from Cezanne, one of my fave influencers. Y'all should check her out if you don't know her yet. But yeah, she posted about these and I was like, those are so cute. And I ordered them. This one is just like a plain sweater and like lounge pants. And then this one is like this really cute sweater with sweater shorts, which how fun is that? So we're going to try them on and see how they look. Okay, here is the first one. Also, excuse my clothes little hamper in the background. It is what it is. So, this is the first one, and I really like it. I did have to roll the shorts once because it was kind of awkwardly too long right here. Um, but it works rolled one time, and then I think it'll look better, like kind of tucked in. But I think that is so cute. I really like the colors. I love the tan and the cream colors and this will be perfect for like springtime once it's like, you know, warm and sunny with a slight chill. Love a good lounge set. Y'all, I am obsessed with these pants. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. This one probably also needs to kind of be like tucked a little bit. 
these pants are everything y'all run don't walk to get these right now these are the most comfortable pants i've ever worn <laughs> and they're like such this cute little sweater material and they're very flattering okay well yeah i'm gonna wear this set today because it's still too cold for shorts right now so this is what we're going with also these shoes are ugg slipper dupes from amazon i love them i'll link all these things for you guys in the description so be sure to look for the links but yeah also i am just convinced that you feel so much more productive and good about your day and you just like feel in a better mood when you get ready for the day and get cute you know especially if you are spending the day at home or if you work from home if you ever feel like you're in a funk or something just get ready do a little makeup put on a cute little outfit whether it's like a lounge outfit or like an actual cute outfit and you will already feel so much better like you will already feel like you've done something productive with your day just because you're ready you know I feel like I used to not do that like on my days off from nursing or days when I was just like at home editing a video all day or something I would just stay in my pajamas and then by the end of the day I would be feeling so gross, just feeling like a blah, like a big blah. But lately, I've just been making it a habit to get ready in the morning every day, regardless of like whether or not I'm going somewhere, and it just makes a world of difference. So if you kind of feel like you get in a funk or get in a bad mood, try this if you haven't tried it already, and I guarantee you it'll make you feel better. Update. <laughs> it is currently 3.08, and I'm finally about to post my video. I feel like it's always such a process. I always forget every time somehow how long it takes just to export the video from iMovie and then import it into YouTube. And then you gotta do all the caption and the tags and the optimization. Honestly, it still makes me a little bit nervous every time I do this. <laughs> Ooh, video is live. I need to show y'all my new candle. I got at Target yesterday. What's it called again? herbs <laughs> it's one of the magnolia ones this one was a new scent that i had not seen before so of course i had to try it and definitely recommend okay it's currently 3 30 i'm a little bit hungry so i think i'm about to make a smoothie or a snack and then i have ingredients to make taco soup and so then i'm gonna go ahead and put all of that in the crock pot and let that cook so i can have that for dinner today feels good i feel like i'm kind of getting my life together today i finally have groceries because i went to the store yesterday and i'm cooking tonight for the first time in what feels like a while it's one of the goals Get into more of a routine of going to the store cooking so yay I've been liking to use this little blender. I don't know if I've ever used this on a YouTube video before, but I will link it in the description. It's from Amazon and it honestly works so well. I've been making my smoothies with coconut water. I don't know why I've never done that before, but coconut water is very good for you. It's very hydrating. So I wanted to start drinking it and I was like, wait, I should start putting it in my smoothies. And then of course a bunch of spinach. Now I'm adding some of this. Frozen bananas are what makes smoothies so good in my opinion. Like I cannot make a smoothie without them. It just, it makes it taste sweet and it's good for the texture. Usually in the past I would put blueberries in, but lately I've been doing frozen cherries and it tastes so good. So I'm a fan of that. Okay y'all, another thing on my health journey. <laughs> oh, I got this hemp seed protein powder from Sprouts. And it's because it was like the only one that literally didn't have any extra ingredients added. It just has organic hemp protein concentrate, natural oregano extract. That's it. Again, I'm not a professional, so feel free to share what you know. But it just tastes really bad. Like it does not taste good. Like you could not eat this on your own. It's really bitter. So I don't like to put that much because don't taste very great but i mean like obviously in a smoothie with a bunch of fruit and stuff it tastes fine oh also i did this last time because the hip seed protein powder was so bitter i added some extra sugar and i don't feel bad about it when it's this sugar um again i talked about this in one of my last vlogs because i've been putting this in my coffee but it's like a healthy sugar it's organic golden coconut sugar so i'm gonna add a little bit of that in there just to give it a little extra sweetness to help balance out the bitter protein powder. Mm. 
pretty good. Not bad, it tastes nice and nutritious. Also y'all, I feel like such a cool girl with my hair like this. Because I can never wear my hair in a clip. Like I've never been able to wear my hair up in like a clip. Like in the cool little twisty thing because I have too much hair. Like not even the big, big, big extra fat clips could hold my hair all the way up. Uh, but then I saw this girl do this on TikTok. And I was like, this is so simple. Why did I never think of this? But she just did like a little ponytail. And then all she did was flip it up like that and clip it and then do like a little ponytail action so feeling cute i don't know why i never thought of doing that instead of the whole twist up thing like obviously if you do it like this not all your hair is in there and it still kind of looks cute if you have a lot of hair like me give this a try I think I said before that I was making taco soup, but this is actually chicken tortilla soup. And I'm just following a random Pinterest recipe, so I'll link that in the description as well. My eyes are burning so bad from the onion I just cut. If any of y'all have tips for how to cut onions without your eyes watering, let me know. Also, make sure that you're using grass-fed butter. Making any type of soup ah, is my favorite because it's just so easy. I love making anything in the um, crock pot because you just get to throw everything in there and then it just cooks. I just attempted to make these little chocolate covered pomegranate seed clusters and it looks a big mess. I don't know why that was actually so hard to make like I just feel like I did not really think through the best process of making these little clusters but this is just gonna have to do <laughs> so I'm about to put them in the fridge and these are going to be delicious later Hey guys, it's 5.30 now and I just went up to my rooftop to read a little bit and get some sunshine as the sun's going down and it's so nice. Like, this is just the best day, honestly. I'm proud of myself because I feel like I've been incorporating a lot of my 2023 goals today. Let me just encourage you guys to, you know, get outside, read a book, go on a walk, do something today that's gonna help you reach your goals for this year. Even if it's just one small step, it still makes a difference. You gotta start somewhere and a bunch of small changes make a huge difference in the long run. Oh, I guess I'll share the book I'm reading. I'm reading Garden City by John Mark Comer. I've read um, another one of his books called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry and it's so good. I definitely recommend that but about like this far in right now. I've been loving it so far. It's just about like finding your purpose with work and all of that good stuff. Yeah, I recommend. But okay, I'm gonna enjoy reading my book before the sun goes all the way down. Then to close out my day, I enjoyed my chicken tortilla soup for dinner. It turned out so good. So me and Nate just had some of that and then watched TV and hung out. And that was really it for my day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.